Lady 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 Grey, whatever her name was. Is she around? Did I speak with Mace or is there anyone else? Hello. Oh, the bus haircut. Oh my god. <gasps> no. Let's see. <laughs> That's not. Oh, those wasps. They were so brave. The Brozzy. Toshi. Them haircut shop to change your appearance. Oops. Uh, well, I guess I can explore this area too. Uh, why not? Hello there. I don't think you've met my daughter, have you? She's rather lovely, if I say so myself. <laughs> though a bit fussy. Stop being such a creep. She's keen to meet strong, handsome men like you. <laughs> this dude. What say you, Toshi? What is your pro gamer advice? Well, I should meet him then. Yeah, dude, he basically trolling though. He not he not got a door. I think she was starting to get a bit lonely. Ah well. Thing is, she only likes men whose hair looks like the picture on this card. Maybe if you looked like that, she'd let me introduce you to her. Come and find Toshi the elite gamer. I won't be far away. Alright. Go get it then. It's an easy enough mission to do. Chicken chaser, wow, reaction, chaser. Right? reaction, yep. Don't go over here. Look at the horror swordsman. Where was the um, barber again? Greatness. I think as reward for completing this mission, you get some golden haircut mustache cards. Okay, I'll save the mission then. I'll just talk to Maze. Here. Please move over. Chicken chaser. Chicken chaser? Yeah. 
Yes, I heard about your encounter with the Wasp Queen. Most of Bowerstone is talking about it. But, um, you shouldn't let that kind of thing go to your head. Uh, anyway, that's not why I called you here. You see, there are dark forces gathering that put your giant insect to shame. Uh, tell me, how much do you remember of the night I took you to the guild? Of the raid on Oakvale? Not much, I wager. A most terrible night. I thought those bandits had killed your whole family, and that you were going to be next. But it seems there may have been another survivor. Your sister. I'm afraid it's only a rumor, and there's no way to be certain yet. But I thought you should know. And for pity's sake, boy, make sure you replace that basic equipment while you're here. Told me to replace the basic equipment, yeah. Check the guild for more quests. What's going on? Uh, are we going back to the guild? I bet he's going on a quest. Going back to the guild. Or there's a silver key. One of the buildings. Doesn't narrow it down, but kick a chicken. <laughs> 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 clearly, it's not this building. Chuck us over a beer, will you? Beer? <laughs> Remember, stay legal. Remember. Stay where the Tories are. Kaiser, everyone's dead today. Rick streaming, so I'm watching Rick stream. Once people actually come to my stream, Kaiser, then I'll start. Otherwise, it's pathetic. Every day is more and more pathetic, Kaiser. I'm watching Rick. I'm sitting here in and out of consciousness. Just woke up from that. Baker's not here, Baker's not here, Tandy's not here, Ryan's not here. Pathetic. I was gonna do the react to the Pierce thing, but I need three people here. And Toshi's on Rick's stream, so I'm just watching Rick's stream. people you named maybe that's for the best yeah ignorance is bliss not time toshi has we we see a new side of toshi on rick stream here he's a pro elite strategy guide for fable one he knows everything <laughs> he sounds like me on resident evil or on geo streams God, same five people I struggled to get on these streams. Now Where the fuck is a mega katana? Where's Geo? Where we be going? Where's this? Where Emma Diasha? Where Nandi? Known these niggas for years, fam. Known these sad Negroes for fucking years. And none, not one of them comes to my stream. All Tashi does is watch gameplay. Yeah. Oh, chicken chaser. Look at the chickens run. Where William? Where Tony? Where Bogdy? Where Amy? Where Graf Villainy? Where that, where that Kamudo Sano guy that tweets me? Where Bilbo Bloodaxe? Where? I'm looking right now. William and Jay, yep, Jay, where they at? African busy raping. Nathan busy with Arab. Fuck 
these people, man. Don't leave none of these people in your will, Kaiser. Don't leave none of these people in your will. Don't leave none of these niggas in your will. At least I think I did find it. Uh... That little girl is annoying. hell is she saying? I'm a super player. Chicken chaser. Do you chase chickens? What is she saying? Are we going back home? Or? Hero. Hero. What is this bitch saying? Hero. Yeah, alright. Hero. Hero. Hero, hero. Fable is dope though, not gonna really lie. Ah, Fable is a dope game. Quest card the guild for you. The, uh, the guild woods. Alright. Everybody get. Yeah. Everybody get. Yeah. We're missing doing that then. Dude, Toshi knows everything. If you see ripples in any water, that means there is item there to fish. He knows it in and out. In and out. In and out. <laughs> Love it. Toshi finally become one of us. The, the pro elite video gamer. Like Calm Kaiser on Armored Core 6 and I Alan Wake 2. Like me on Resi and Silent Hill. Toshi on Fable. <laughs> pro elite. Who are you? Hey, hi. Look, could you do me a massive favor? My name's Cyril. Me and some friends had a little party here the other night, and I met this drop dead gorgeous girl from Oakvale. Oh, Myra. Drop dead gorgeous girl from. Dana. At least I think she was. At least I think she was. Love it. Scottish greatness. If you see what I mean. Mm. Anyway, I really want to see her again. Well, probably. Probably. Oh, maybe it was just the mushrooms and she's actually just an ugly stick victim. Maybe she isn't. <laughs> what if she doesn't like me? British banter, fam. Right. British banter. Pick up the take my chances all the same. Please, take this letter to her and open Take this letter to her. To indefic indefecatability. She feels the suspense is killing me. <laughs> no oh, doubt. One more thing. I need more viewers, Kaiser, to start that peers reaction. I've spent but weeks perfecting its sublime poetry. Don't worry. I'll uh, you know, claim her for my own. What? There should be water with ripples, yeah? There it is. Now what? How do Little I... Little viewers just watch while taking a dump. <laughs> what button do I press? Or get your dick out, whip your dick out. Attach a tackle to the end. There's fishing rod from the menu, he says. Alright. <laughs> yep, whip his dick out. Maybe this is a reaction right now. Take a whiz in the lake. Nobody cares about anything other than Red Dot, Mangala, and Jap. Yeah. 
we we need to we need to cross the net now, even Kaiser. Even work. You would help me. These guys ain't gonna do it. Me and you together. You, you need to bring bring me in, like people, interesting people that you know will talk and engage, and then they're sociable. You need to be a recruiter for me, man. We need to we need to reshuffle of this whole Tesh bullshit. We need to bring new blood in, man. God bless him, I'm tired of these same old people. Same old repetitive behaviors. Right, so predictable I now. I, I need un unpredictable people. You need to bring in fr fresh blood now. I feel like I beat my head against a fucking wall. Off the time. Like, internet connects us to people worldwide, Kaiser. People from Europe, people from Africa, people from Middle East, Australia. It connects us to everyone. And these all, these five, six people still manage yeah, to be really so fucking uninteresting. Same old unantisocial behavior. I know they ain't socialized with no one else. Ooh, a silver key. Well, it was worth the job. Hate to be that guy that says it, but I guess. who's sin socializing with? We know he don't. Uh, God bless him. Even Baker, Tanya, affected. Who, who's Rai socializing with? No one. Apart from there's the family in Ven or something. Who mega socializes with? No one. Same one person, Matt, Mad Matt on fucking Twitter. Oh god, no, no, no. He <laughs> don't look like no chicken chaser to me. A hero, I see. Unless these people got their own secret discords that I don't know about. If I knew I was going fishing, I would have brought a sand. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. These motherfuckers are all gonna miss me when I'm gone, Kaiser. They're gonna be desperate for someone to interact with them, and then there'll be fucking no one. Can I open this thing? Bloody 20 keys, man. There we go, another ripple, Get a mushroom. Yippee Let's tackle out. Nino Kuni. We need a better breed of people, Kaiser man. Sociable people. Get some of your uh, expats. One. Get some of your Brits in America in here. In your Facebook group. Get some of your Brits in America, guys, over here. All I want is another geo break. <laughs> You'll probably get one before the year is done. You'll probably get one. Do, do, do. Now we can pick up some missions from the Hero Guild map. God damn, Toshi knows everything about this game. Protect. If he starts yeah, Elden Ring. Yeah. Yeah, don't attack. He gets distracted by all this f Nintendo. Nintendo. Protect the farm. It's nice that they call you hero, but they allow you to take evil missions. <laughs> Anything else? Some missions will have good version or evil version to choose from. She got it memorized, man. Let's do that thing. You're going to the cinema in December and skipping Game Awards. <laughs> I think 
he'll come back completely unsatisfied. He joined your stream just then. Yeah, I know. And he left. Yeah, he's not joining us for the co-op thing. But what movie is he going to watch? He's watching the Miyazaki movie, I think. Boy and the Heron. I think. Unless it's a movie that some, some one of his autistic friends recommended. What's happening? What's happening? We are traveling to the land. So you're going to be doing some work. <laughs> you're like, fun. what am I gonna watch? You I ask when no one else. I saw Lady Grace at the opposite quest in the guild yes. yesterday. Yes. Maybe I should pick. Can't do nothing with these people, man. I hope you've been practicing. You'll need all. I'm not gonna waste my breath. I'm not gonna, gonna waste my breath. I'm just gonna have my own fun. I'm just gonna have my own fun. Can't with these people. This time of year should be the year people want to interact the most. That Christmas watch along ain't gonna happen, guys. You know we were talking about Jeopardy or a, a Christmas movie, like the horror Christmas movie I recommended. Even though I suggested it, it's not gonna happen because these fuckers are so antisocial. It's just not gonna happen. Even something as basic as that, these people are perpetually online anyway. They were sitting behind some sort of keyboard or some sort of screen or video game or mobile phone. It's never gonna happen. Good, good man. Yeah, out there, man. You have your escape. Good. Simple. Dulled, man. Been dead, dulled. I'm watching Rick stream and commenting. Dulled. Toshi is a pro elite gamer guide for Fable 1. Oh, yeah. He knows every little detail. He's guiding Rick through Fable 1. Dulled. He'd be guiding him. Do you look, re read the chat. The is He's, he knows everything to do right now. <laughs> he sounds like me. He sounds like me on the Geo stream or Resi stream or Silent Hill stream. Dude, he knows everything. Yeah, he was DMing everyone to play in stream. He's finally showed his pro elite skills at Fable. But to Toshi's good at giving. He's good at giving. Text instructions. Let me just clear these out and then we'll look around. Nice. Yeah. Toshi should work as some sort of uh, motivator or something. In text form. He doesn't play games no more. Your clients, just I think he just play plays them through other people. Some people like just watching streams. They just like watching other people play the games they've played. Uh, there were some chests around here. <gasps> Hebrew Labcast aren't really the games, like playing games anymore for some reason. There it is. Yeah, he chest on a small dude. He knows where every, every chest is, every little chest is. Zendaya, yeah, pro elite Zendaya trivia and fable. Apparently, this is a childhood game. He's played multiple times, Dalt. That's why he knows the game. Real masters. He just played this when he was younger. Nostalgic. I played this. I played Fable one, two, and three. She capping. Let me just check how long this Elon Elon Levy, Levy video is. If it's short, I'll bang that out. As a wildlife photographer, shooting in low light is nothing new. But for me and many photographers, shooting at very low shutter speeds and high. Well, I'm now joined by. Zorno. All right, sure. I'll, I'll get the reactive. I'll mute this for now. this one.
Yeah, I'll go back to Rick's stream. I'm just gonna react to this because I'm because I add this to the my YouTube. So I got I asked there has to be a react react in there. So. Israeli spokesman, uh, Elon Levy. Uh, Elon Levy. Uh, Elon Levy. Thank you very much indeed for joining me. Um, you heard my monologue there. Uh, I've said from the start of this conflict that I felt a real moral quandary. Oh, fuck Not your moral about, quandary, uh, man. October the 7th. I'm crystal clear about... Constant what moral quandary. There. I'm completely clear that Israel not only had a duty to its people to defend itself after that, but had a responsibility to do it. Um, the question has always been in my mind, what is a proportionate response? This scumbag on the right. As we have the Yehudi scum. At the moment, thank God for the release of many of the hostages, it's also time for everybody to pause and ask some pertinent questions of Israel about what the real plan is here going forward. So let me start just by asking you, where does this go now? There is no plan. The plan is what we all said it was, flatten Gaza. And now they want to bomb the south as well. Flatten Gaza. They want to take over Gaza. But Benjamin Netanyahu said, we want to take custody of Gaza. For an indeterminate time. There's always part of the plan. These filthy, filthy, rat-like Yehudis, man. Now, uh, we've got a two-day two extension to this pause. More hostages will come out, but it won't be all of them. In fact, Hamas don't even know where many of the hostages are. They're with other... Uh, Islamic fundamentalist groups within Gaza. Uh, Netanyahu has already said, your Prime Minister, that he wants to pick up the uh, attacks as soon as this pause is finished. But to what end and how far will you go? Israel's campaign now in response to the October 7th massacre is proportionate to the threat that we face. And that threat is a second October 7th, a third October 7th, the fourth a million October 7th, exactly as Hamas is promising to do, to murder every man, woman, child in our country. We really wish we were not in this situation, Piers. Dude, for many years dude do terrorists agree to cease fires? Has Taliban, well, forget Taliban, has ISIS ever done ceasefires? And swapped hostages? No, they're not a terrorist fucking organization. They agreed to true ceasefire, swapped hostages, well looked after. They're not fucking terrorists. I'm tired of it. I'm, you know what? I'm done with Jews. I'm just completely done with this people, this group of people. They've had every chance to hold their own to account. To not repeat the fucking mistakes of World War II and Nazi Germany and the Holocaust. And they've had every fucking chance. They've had fucking 20, at least conservatively 20 years. If not 40, if not 70. They have, these people have had every fucking chance to speak out, to do something. They've done nothing. So I'm fucking, today, I'm sick and tired. I don't want to hear about anti-Semitism. I don't want people reminding us of the Holocaust. But if they don't learn from it, I'm tired of Yehudi, Israeli Yehudis. And frankly, between America and Israel, it, it constitutes the majority of the Jews in the world. Between Israel itself and America, Europe is lighter population. I'm completely done with this filthy f people. Completely Israel done with them. Putting off a possible campaign to topple Hamas, but the October 7th massacre left us no choice. They're not God's the chosen people, nothing special Jews about Jews. Since the Holocaust. It was the deadliest terror attack in world history since 9 11. And in response it to the campaign, campaign is going to continue to destroy Hamas. This war will end with the end of Hamas. You see how everything's post 9 11. Like nothing happened, nothing. There is only a world after an Islamic attack or terrorist attack, and there is the world before it. Then else is this? I was saying they done till the next peers with. No, I'm I'm done with people. I'm done with Jews. They they refuse to hold their hold theirs to account. You know Muslims are constantly getting, saying you need to sort your house out. You need to condemn the radical elements in your communities, in the mosques and the madrasas. You Muslims need to go to the madrasas and de-radicalize people and ho hold to account these radicals. You Jews need to hold to account your right-wing government that speaks for you worldwide through Israel. Because when Israel speaks, America follows, Britain follows. You need to speak out against them, but you've had every chance to speak out against them. Now 4,000, 6,000, 10,000. Palestinian kids are dead and you don't give a fuck so I'm done with you fuckers because we cannot allow it to remain in power and we know that the scenes on our screens are very difficult and we're doing everything we can to minimize civilian casualties but everyone in Israel understands 
that the consequences this, of this group of people controlling everything this one little nation in the middle of a, all these middle eastern nations controlling american media discourse politics entertainment and they control British politics and European politics. What the fuck is going on? Why can't someone with fucking two brain cells figure this out? Action would be too great to bear because we cannot leave Hamas in power and our hostages in Gaza. We cannot leave Hamas emboldened to continue attacking our people, to launch another murderous campaign like it did on October 7th with those barbaric acts that you have spoken so powerfully against, the burnings... Stop the licking his dick, you know. We sit, the abductions, we simply cannot... Stop licking his dick. ...to 6 a.m. on October 7th. That will not happen. That massacre was the straw that broke the back of a very strong camel, and this war is going to end. It hasn't happened. You've had a ceasefire, and hostages have been traded. There's a two-day extension. Why don't you capitalize on peace and peace the peace there is it's like they want more people to die they, they this is the problem with this side they don't care how many people have to die they need their messiah to come back with the end of hamas okay how many uh, palestinians including hamas terrorists have you so far killed we know that we've killed thousands of terrorists you haven't we killed thousands thousands. Hang on, let me, okay let, hamas, let me let me ask they haven't you killed thousands. So, the, the Hamas-run uh, health authority says it's over 14,000 people have now been killed. Of that, I mean, do you, A, do you accept those numbers? Because they have been endorsed by other bodies. But do you accept that those numbers are, are fairly accurate? Historically, they have been. Hamas is the organisation, the army of terror that on October... People think just because the Holocaust happened that Jews cannot be bloodthirsty. Why do we see them as God's chosen people? What, just because they say they're God's chosen people, they can't commit acts of atrocities? Peers can say, can say the numbers accurate when he was questioning previous interviews. Can't, Peers can now say the numbers accurate when he was questioning previous interviews. Burned, beheaded, abducted people, and then lied about it to the entire no, I understand international that. media. I understand that. So I... it is the opposite of a credible source. And no, I, I understand that, but, but, do you accept, but do you accept, given that previous figures that they have given during the many years of this conflict about casualties have turned out to be pretty accurate, do you accept this is likely to be the range of people who've been killed? First of all, they haven't been proven accurate because historically Hamas never admits in the course of the war that its own terrorists are killed and that only comes to light afterwards. I'll say what we know about the numbers and we don't have exact numbers because, Pierce, I can't tell you how many Israelis were murdered in the October 7th massacre because we still have dozens of body parts, dozens of body bags of unidentifiable human remains. Which means they can't say. They keep saying the 1400 line. Now they're saying we can't tell you the numbers of the guys that died. So they're trying to put jigsaw puzzles or body pieces that back together. So they're probably literally counting body uh, limbs as one person. Even though they might find f four or five limbs. I know, I'm not even joking. And they're saying, oh, that's four people. Four limbs, four people, even though it's off the same person. Give you an exact number is not realistic, but here's what I can tell you. One, we know we've killed thousands of terrorists because our campaign has been targeting to target the monsters who perpetrated the October 7th. How do you know they're terrorists? If, if they killed thousands of terrorists, let's just say 4,000, that's still 10,000 civilians you've killed. 10,000 civilians. We know... How do we know out, they're out terrorists? Interest, how do you tell a Hamas terrorist from a Palestinian civilian who's not part of how, Hamas? Hamas is making it very difficult to do that because we know that it's So how do you know you've killed thousands of them? because we know who we are targeting. We are targeting on the basis of precise intelligence. This isn't an indiscriminate bombardment as many would like to paint it. Hamas knows that we do not target civilians. It seems to know that better than some in the West. That's why- How are so many civilians dying if they don't target civilians? This is so fucking stupid. Classified a, an intercepted phone call of Islamic Jihad terrorists talking about transporting uh. an anti-tank missile in a baby's pram because they know perfectly well that Israel is trying to yeah, target but here's, here's my problem and not the civilians. Okay, but here's my problem with this, is that by your own admission, you don't know how many Hamas terrorists, and I, I categorise people who belong to the Hamas organisation as terrorists, just for, you know, for clarity, but you don't actually know 
do you? How many of them you've killed? It doesn't matter to I, them. I, I by your own, they by use your the own, boogie map. Uh, just a few uh, moments ago, you said that they make it incredibly difficult for you to work out who is a Hamas terrorist and who is a civilian. That seems to me part of the problem that you have with the optics of this to the wider world is that Fuck the optics. horrible imagery all day long. I mean, it's it's just the worst thing I've ever seen all over social media. Of, well, the worst thing of, we've ever seen were the atrocities that Hamas no, no, I'm not. I'm, not, I'm just saying, I, yeah, I've not seen, thankfully, I've not seen what many journalists have seen, which is the 45-minute film of that, and I understand it's absolutely horrific. And I'm not making is, any, I'm I not making any comparison. No, I'm not, I, I, I would not say anything is worse than that, so for the record. Um, oh, 4,000 children dead is worse than that. Horrible imagery all day long. It is suggesting to people that there are thousands and thousands of thousands of women and a lot of children, maybe as many as five, 6,000 children now, have been killed by these uh, uh, airstrikes and now the ground attack. And I think the problem that you have, yeah. and I say this respectfully, the problem you have is that you don't actually know how many Hamas terrorists you're killing. I mean, if you're honest, you don't, do you? Piers, the sad fact is everyone who has been killed in the Gaza Strip in the last month and a half would still be alive if Hamas had not launched this war with the October 7th massacre and then fought out of densely populated civilian areas that it has done its damnedest to prevent people from evacuating in order to get to safety while we try to get... Where's the proof of that? To say something about the Dude, civilian... they're saying that Hamas stopped them evacuating. Where's the fucking proof of that? There was one image of roadblocks and they can't even confirm some mass. ...casualties because I think this is important. We know that we've killed thousands of terrorists. We know that Hamas is inflating the numbers. You, you don't actually know. And that. We believe, but that's that's my problem with this. You say no, you say you know. have, we, but when they I make up Hamas every time they want to kill that, that, Palestinians. That, 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 I still that, can't that's the tell problem you that exactly you... how many Israelis were murdered in the October seventh. I understand that because I, we're still and that's horrific. bodies. No, but I agree and with I, you. That is utterly horrific that you still can't determine how many people were killed that day because of the horrors that were perpetrated. You and I are in complete agreement. But nor do you know how many of these Hamas terrorists you're killing. It could be that vast numbers of them, and we think there are around 35,000 perhaps in total, that vast numbers of them either disappeared into the tunnels and have been uh, safely there ever since, or simply went south with the million or more uh, Palestinian supposed civilians that went down there. Maybe a lot of them infiltrated that, that group and are down in the south. You don't actually know, do you, for sure? Piers, during the Afghanistan war, and I believe your brother, a real military hero, fought in that war. Oh, fuck off. Stop licking his tip. Would not have given you a running commentary. Stop licking it. People are seeing to Israel. Do you know what? During the second... Israel can keep using genocidal language. Uh, as a bystander, I'm going to say, just fucking nuke this nation off this fucking planet. Just nuke them off the fucking planet. Troublemakers. This fucking little nation. Just a fucking troublemaker. Everyone's dancing to their fucking tune, man. Twenty for at least, as a, as far as I've been conscious politically, which is what conservatively twenty years, this fucking troublemaker nations have been fucking around world politics for twenty fucking years. Evacuate all the Israelis, send them to fucking Argentina, send them to fucking America, send them anywhere, just get them out of there. Otherwise, Israel is the is America's human shield. Second World War, and I know your grandfather was a war hero who fought the Japanese to liberate Burma. The British Army could yeah, not you knew Japan, remember? of how many civilians were killed there or how many Japanese were being killed. These are facts that become clear when the fog of war clears. And what I can tell you is that when the fog of war clears and the numbers become clear about the civilian to combatant ratio mm. inside the Gaza Strip, and you compare that to other counter-terrorism wars fought by Western armies, like the British in Afghanistan, like the British in Iraq, like the British against... He's Islam, criticizing Britain that ratio to make his case look good. Prove ...very firmly the extent to which the Israeli army has gone to try to keep civilians on the other side safe from the consequences of their own, their own leaders' reckless and evil and barbaric attempts to try to keep them in harm's way. Piers, every civilian casualty he is He just a brought tragedy. Britain up and how bad civilian Britain is. Civilian casualties are a feature of That's every war, and they are a feature of this war that Hamas began 
and that Hamas is that forcing is true, us to but the fight reason inside I'm pushing you, populated The areas. reason I'm pushing you on it is simply because you say you've killed thousands of Hamas terrorists. And the reason I think this is such a, an important question is there have been reports that once the easy on over, him. that Israel intends to then attack him south uh, and may give further warnings to people that are out of certain areas, but will attack him south and presumably destroy uh, the areas that you attack there, as you have done in the north, making it almost uninhabitable for people to return to. Uh, and all of this is part of Operation Get Rid of Hamas. But if the world doesn't know how much of Hamas you're getting rid of, but only sees day after day, hour after hour, images of children dead, women dead, innocent civilians caught up in this, then I think They've the had no evidence. support for Israel is going to dissipate very quickly. That's why... It's really important, I think, for Israel to be able to demonstrate to people that your mission is being accomplished. Why does it look like I'm, uh, why does it look like Pierce is always an advisor, a, a military advisor to Israel in his questioning? He's always hard. He's always trying to make Palestinians, Egyptians, pro-Palestinian guys look like terrorist sympathizers to his questioning. He is like the optics are bad, fam. You need to provide evidence, fam. You need to orchestrate and construct a fake video of like 20 Hamas bodies, fam. Like he's some sort of military advisor to Israel. Because it's motherfucker Yehudi, Yehudi lover fucking Murdoch who pays his fucking checks. Israel like Europeans, he's trying to help his own. You could be here in six months, a year, and the civilian death toll in, in Gaza could be over 100,000. And we might be having the same conversation where you're still not sure how many Hamas terrorists you've killed. That's the problem, it seems to me. Piers, I'm slightly surprised by this question because in the fog of war, no country, no military in the history of warfare... Same video game. ...exact running tally... I'm not for an exact number. ...the casualties, but I'm saying we know that we are targeting Hamas. We know that we are targeting the monsters who perpetrated the October 7th massacre, and we know that we are trying to foil their strategy to hide behind women and children, and just this week we've exposed the world the evidence of the bunkers that they built underneath the Shifa hospital that so many have spent so Stop. long... Stop. They keep bringing this Al Shifa hospital. There's been no proof. There's no proof of the Al Shifa hospital having tunnels and Hamas base. They keep bringing this one thing up. These pathetic Yehudis, man. I hope the world starts to understand why the Muslim nations, even though we, we, we are not racist against Jews, we're not, we're not anti-Semitic because we just can't be, have had such a problem with this troublesome race of people. I don't want to condone death and violence and women and children dying in uh, innocent civilians. I could totally don't, but that's for everything. It's not just for Jews, I, for any person. I don't condone it. But now you can start to see why the history is there. This troublesome group, nation of people, these fucking Israelites, man, have been a constant thorn in history's side, fam. They were a thorn in Moses' side. Literally, Moses went to Mount Sinai. Literally, Moses went up to fucking Mount Sinai to get revelation from God. When he came back, they were worshipping golden cows, fam. They were worshipping golden cows. They were trouble even back then. They started worshipping golden cows, even though they knew God existed. And God gave them all the miracles in the fucking world. Even their own Bible says that. Moses went up to Mount Sinai to get a thing. They started worshipping golden calf. They worship gold and money and silver. Th these stereotypes don't come from nowhere. I'm going to educate. These stereotypes, you know, these racist stereotypes, the way they've been twisted is racist, but they actually come from their own texts. They actually come from their own Bible, the Torah. I'm sorry, this troublesome piece of people. Man. And deny that Hamas okay, is capable what happens, of using that strategy uh, of human shields. Let me ask you, what happens, at the, assuming this war ends, and, and please God it ends sooner rather than later, but assuming it ends... Benjamin Netanyahu has said he intends to effectively occupy, that Israel to occupy Gaza for security reasons indefinitely. Well, that's really what he said, indefinitely. That is you would You would be in charge of security. I mean, you're already in charge of a lot of their food, their energy, their water. Bani Israel, yeah. Adding security as an umbrella. Basically, you're occupying Gaza. That is not... When the end times now, it's coming. It's coming. Of, it seems to me him and his cabinet. I mean, it's not, no. what, you would, it's not what you would want, is it? No, Piers, Israel does not want to occupy the Gaza Strip, and that is why 18 years ago Israel left the Gaza Strip. So why Israel would he say why would he say he wants to do that indefinitely for security reasons?
because the sad fact is the Prime Minister has said we do not want to occupy Gaza. To say that the Prime Minister said that is simply false. He said Israel will have to, for some period, to exercise security control to prevent that area from that? being demilitarized, just as President Biden said in his own column in the Washington Post that there will have to I be interim understand, security how do you do arrangements. That? How do you do that? We're going to have to prevent smuggling of any weapons inside the Gaza Strip after we have totally destroyed the Hamas terror infrastructure. You know, Piers, in the years that Israel has been out of the Gaza Strip, all that concrete that went into Gaza and was supposed to build people's houses went into the t went into tunnels. More propaganda. Here we go. go. Back to this. Pipes, Back to the same talking points. Tunnels, rat tunnels. The same bullshit. Back to the same talking points. Government. Dug them out and then filmed propaganda videos of them turning those me, water pipes okay, into rockets and you, shooting you, them at Israel. But, but and that do, is what we have to prevent to stop this happening again. But if you displace the vast majority of civilians, as you have, and you destroy large amounts of their homes, what do they come back to? After the day after Hamas, and I wish it were next week, but it will take time, there are three things that are going to have to happen. The first is the Gaza Strip must be demilitarized. We will never allow it to be used as a base for operations from a it's terrorist not yours. direct attack. It's not yours. People. Just as the UK and 85 other nations came together to deny ISIS its territorial stronghold, and they did to, Ras to, Ra to Raqqa and Mosul what they did to Raqqa and Mosul because they understood that a jihadi group like that must never be allowed to hold territory to attack innocent people. The second thing is the Gaza Strip must be de-radicalized. You know, the youngest terrorists who perpetrated the October 7th massacre weren't even born when Israel vacated the Gaza Strip in 2005, and they were raised on a diet to glorify you, okay, jihad and martyrdom. Point, that and point, the third thing, I want off. to ask the question of reconstruction. Listen, you know, he's another guy. He's a, you know what? I, I don't say this lightly, because I've said to people, we don't condemn people to hell, because they may be better people than us. But yallah, Bak. Please let him be be and then go in pain, agony and fucking pain. I pray these people go in agony and pain. I, I, I shouldn't, I don't wish this on. Very rare to, for me to wish down people. But I, I hope these people go in the agony and fucking pain. When they see, stand face to face with God, they, they realize, man. They have no excuse. The trip is going to have to be rebuilt and this time, it's going to have to be rebuilt in a way that ensures that the concrete genuinely goes to people's homes and doesn't go into pe into the tunnels, because otherwise we're going to be in the same I situation but this sounds all very over like again. To me, and the, the only... consequences right, for the, the Palestinians only way you can will do also all be this. severe. But with respect, the only way you can do all this is with a form of occupation, whether you want to call it that or not. It's the only way you can do this. And my other question to you would be this. Is, that, is there not a danger? You talk about radicalization there. Is there not a danger that the longer this goes on and the more innocent people you kill as you try and target uh, Hamas, that you build up a whole new generation of Palestinians who are radicalized to hate Israel and want to exact revenge? Isn't that a real, a real concern right now? You know, I don't think during the Second World War when the Allies were bombing the Germans and the Japanese people claim that if you continue bombing Germans and Japanese, you'll raise a new generation of Nazis. And that's because they realized these were people who were radicalized beyond measure. And after the war, there had to be a serious process of de-radicalization. Piers, the facts are that 85% of Palestinians across the West Bank and the Gaza Strip support Hamas's atrocities on October 7th. Here we go. That is the first polling evidence that has come Here we go. The level of radicalization is already... That's the connection. That is the that's the, the, the connection he's wanted to make now. That it's okay to do what they're doing because 85 percent support hamas bank and the gaza strip support hamas's atrocities on october 7th that is the first polling evidence that has come out the level of radicalization is already severe and it is that radical element that we have to deny a stronghold from which to perpetrate they need pussy government like fatter back in that's what they want they want some pussy roll on your belly show your belly fatter fucking and get up again concede everything they want pussies Pussies in power, bending over for Israel. Our people. And we think it's important that the whole international community understand the extent of the rot of the Hamas death cult that has raised a whole generation, tragically. Here we go. The greatest opportunity for peace in the Middle okay. East at 2005 withdrawal. There has to be a serious push towards de-radicalization to ensure that this never happen again. And we expect the international okay, the community big question, to work hand in hand with us. On okay, that. listen, I've got to leave it there. But the big question is, 
whether what you're doing now and what you intend to do in the next few weeks and months will actually begin the end of that radicalization or make it a lot worse. And that is a question I think we just don't know the answer to. Uh, but Elon well, Levy, thank you very much indeed for joining can, me. Could I complete an answer, perhaps? If you're quick. If this war doesn't end with the end of Hamas and the return of our hostages, we know that Hamas will attack us again. That's what it says it wants to do. And so if you're talking to me about extremism, we know that a Hamas that feels emboldened because the world tells it Israel has no right to defend itself, that is the surefire recipe well, of radicalism that. and extremism and more death. And we're determined to put an end to this cycle of violence and we'll end it. We'll end this war and we'll do it by ending Hamas. Hey, no, Levy, really you know why they have this guy as a spokesperson? Because he doesn't look like a traditional Jew, this guy. They need someone that looks kind of like American. Could be a little bit of Hispanic in him, a little bit white in him. You know? He's, he doesn't look like a traditional Jew. He could pass as multi-ethnic. So they have this, this Belland as a fucking spokesperson. It's a fucking idiot. It's niggas, man, I swear. Dude, we're all sand niggas. Arabs or Jews, all sand niggas, man. I'm tired of these fuckers, man. These Yehudi scumbags. He does everything. Yeah, he does. My man, Wobbler, AM Guess. Toshi is giving Rick detailed, fine detail guide to Fable 1. Fine detail, Fable 1. On Rick's stream. I was watching it. Literally, first 20 minutes of my stream was watching Rick and then I reacted to Piers Morgan. MCAST, you came in when I stopped reacting to Piers, man. W what is this timing? Dald came in yesterday after I reacted to some, some Kaiser video, Boogie video or something, and then you came in when I finished with um, the Piers one. Oh, you've been watching? Okay. Toshi said that he used to play Fable 1 Anniversary um, as a kid over and over. So he knows all the details. Toshi the Donny. Toshi the Donny. Toshi the Donny. Yeah, Fable 1. Toshi the Donny. Yeah, we're gonna be up for much. Get over to the lab, pronto. Yeah, we're gonna be up in December. Much GDK, come to my GDK, not your raw meat GDK. Ninja Turtle Silver. Hmm. I will test, man. I will check ups and tests. So I can't meet up this weekend. But we'll plan sometime in December when everyone's off for the Christmas. We don't celebrate Christmas, so it's okay. I was thinking Nandy was supposed to meet us in December last year, but he never came. We were me, this and him were planning hey. it, so this year it can be me, Toshi, and Gas. What? Hey! We have to go! 
now. We have to go! Why are you going Dallas? Why are you going Dallas? Did you find anything? Dennis Rodman, uh, adult. His character is dead just like Dennis Rodman. Go now! Because Chicago is a shithole full of Jews, Polacks, and N words. I don't say the N word in Kaiser's context. I say it in my own sand context. This place being so hectic, I have been monitoring your progress from here. Yeah, no, I am grateful for your assistance. Daylight is it. Daylight. The only right resource there. against the T virus. The I T -virus. cannot give it over to Umbrella. They're the ones responsible for the catastrophe which has befallen the city. In retrospect, I go to New Jersey at the end of December. We see. Oh shit, New Jersey. Disaster. Nice. Brute force. Is that where um Omega is? Weapon. It must also Omega be Katana. He's in New Jersey, right? And oh, godlike. New Jersey, same as Chicago. You will also assist me. You're going to play with my ultimate creation. Yoko, it's been two years. Oh, but you might not know that. After all, Yoko, oh no. <laughs> so terrible. I think you'd want with to the star for oh shit. <laughs> yeah, we meet up at GDK Hansler. Farewell. We watch Cyberpunk Edge Runners. That might be the most convenient way of watching watching it instead of me having to do reactions. Yeah, I need to be able to recognize you. I've never seen M Gaz's face. Or Toshi. <laughs> I knew what Zeth looked like before I met him so I could recognize him. After all my checkups are done, yeah. my health checkups, to, uh, MCAS. Is there no I can't really plan or uh, like make a date now. I'd rather do it during holiday time when I have actual time off. Because no. I only took seven days off. Uh -huh. Seven days off from work. <laughs> Let's go! Yeah fam, I just scared. Nah, tell, tell G go you give three weeks more. Nah, I can't do that. Can't do that. Go now! Right. Go! Dull dunia. Dull, I gotta meet you as well, man. You gotta come England, fam. Huh. You gotta come England, fam. Go down! Nick and Nandi both were on the verge of coming to England. They never did. I'm gonna tell them he was pregnant and gave yes. birth to get to one month off. Uh -huh. Let's go! Let's go! Go down! Go! Come on! Who be here in the UK? UK is a third world country compared to prominent EU countries, it's true. And we're just going down the shit until they fix it. Fix up. Go there! Yeah. Go down! No, what 
I don't know about maternity leave. 12 months off. I don't think it's 12 months. Well, actually, you can take a year off, apparently. Yeah. Kaiser, you come in UK, yeah? Paid. Paid leave, yeah. Dennis Rodman summer. It's not, it's true for most countries in the world. Why now? Shit, we will live in America. Technically, we do, man. America is really just a bunch of little countries. America really is just a bunch of countries. Little countries together on one part of the continent. All he does is watch American shits in adult. The American UK is globalism. That's what it is. We're trying to become little America right now. Like a lot of political and social stuff. Yep, everything. We think that America is like a, like a beacon or a bastion of like what we should live up to. It's not, man. It really is. It's regression at the same time as progression. We progress in some ways and we regress in other ways. Come on. Uh -huh. Pepe Piri Piri. Is that when you came to England that time, you really should have gone better place than just Tesco. You, 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 you would have been... Even if you randomly went to a store when you came to England, the chances that it was halal was what would be way higher. So you, you didn't need to be picky and just go to Tesco for a freaking sandwich. Hey you should have gone to like some of the nice places. Hey there. At Tesco Asda. Hello there. If the best that you ate here was a Tesco sandwich, then you missed out, man. Well, we didn't have GDK back then, but we we had like we had plenty of Desi stores, the Pakistani stores, Indian stores, Bengali stores, Spice Village. Nah, nah, none that mainstream. It depends on what area you were in, but the likelihood that you were in an area which had like big Pakistani population was high, so. Spice Village. <laughs> You're talking about buffets. Hey All you can eat buffets. Hey, hey. Non-stop. Yeah, I checked out the the website. It looked okay. Looks okay, though. This looks really mainstream, though. We got nicer places. We got Taste of Lahore over here. Taste of Pakistan, really nice. Lamb Jersey, Japli kebabs. Amazing, Rogan Josh, all that greatness, man. Do you, do you know? I don't give a crap. Whatever you guys been eating, Canada, America, Florida, it's all bullshit. You come where I am, I will take you hey to like nice place, man. Where the food is good. Hey there. Where the food is fucking dope. Hey, hey. Family size, tawa naan, fam. They stick it on a rod, fam. Hey! Come on! Yes! You guys been in garbage all that time over on that godforsaken content, but no. off measures, fam. Uh -huh. What about Itsu sa bun sushi, man? Sushi so friggin' boring. No way to open so bland and boring. People go over sushi because it's exotic, but you want you want to be full up. We don't do you no know, pussy portions like Asians and whites. We don't do that. Pussy portions, man. Come on! Uh -huh. come, on come on, come on! We have to go! Come on! We have to go! Here! Come on, come on, come on! Hurry! We have to... It's sushi. That mainstream shit. 
What was that? Nando's is okay. If if Frank if Frangos was still around, I would have would have would have suggested Frangos. Nando's UK is probably better than anywhere else. They're still boring. You can get better Perry chicken in places that you wouldn't expect. Perry's become such a... It's like a fried chicken wing. It's so common now. They opened the Dunkin's in Wembley. Yeah. They've opened Dunkin's everywhere. I don't like Dunkin' Donuts. I like Krispy Kreme Donuts. But Dunkin's is like not good. selection they glaze donuts are the best Dunkin's like we, we they just are supermarket hey. donuts but with weird, weird like sprinkles and shit like that Dunkin's ain't that good Tim Hortons in Hansler nah there's no Tim Hortons I want to try Tim Hortons I want to try go. Tim Hortons we have to go go now Be Canada. Um, there might be a Timor's in the UK, but I don't know where it is. Yeah, Toshi. Gifto? You mean like cash and carry? You mean the cash and carry? Gifto. Elite Resi, yeah. Did did he finish, Toshi? Did Rick finish? Going for Yoko, he went for the street for the jab. Hey! Hey! Come on! Uh -huh. Dude, she's doing it, fam. Today's a good turnout. Today's a good turnout. This is the fake out ending. Yep, the fake out ending. You guys are saying McKenzie got to tell them he was pregnant and give birth 12 months off? Nah. Seven days comes to an end on Tuesday. Have you been gifted with Lahore Karahi? 
No, I haven't. I've heard of Giftos, but I've not been to Giftos Lahokarai. Yeah, they fake you out. You're like, is this the ending to the whole game? I want to try Tim Hortons. They have a, like a pumpkin spice. I've chosen to stay behind. What an idiot. No, I haven't. Damn, this sucks! I have to stay behind so I won't infect others. I get that. But to get stuck here with you, of all people! Ugh. I don't mean I hate you or nothing. I just would have preferred some fine-looking woman. You know what I'm saying. Anyways, th there's no guarantee that they're coming back even if we wait here. So what are you planning on giving them anyway? This is stupid! Man, why are we wasting my time? We're gonna starve to death or end up somebody else's lunch, I'm telling you! Be quiet, or you'll make yourself hungry. What? No. No way. See? Never a dull moment. Now, let's finish this like men. Nah, that's not Marvin. It's it's the one joke black character in the game. The one who loves sneakers. <sighs> yep, nuked. Yvette, what are your thoughts on this Israel Palestine thing? I need to get your thoughts. I know you can't get political in your server, Yvette, but since you're in my stream, in a safe place. What would be your thoughts, fam? What's all the, what were your thoughts on all the bullshit, fam? The peers shit. What were your thoughts? I would have made this game. <laughs> oh shit, in person, okay. Is it too, is, is it too explicit, your thoughts? Is it too explicit to share your thoughts? Person and blind in that Israel fam. Music. I don't think there are even many Jews in Florida. I don't thought there'd be plenty in Florida. Catwoman, how many you met in real life? Here are today's results. It's been six months, but the number's still the same. There's no way people could sustain life there. Not humans, no. Donnie Saga continues. Sir, there's a call for you from the head office. Put it through. Mr. Midmoon is scheduled. Is everything ready? 
Yes, we'll be dropping two for each, beginning with sample T4. The rest will follow at 15 minute intervals. I've heard, I've heard the, the hot chocolate is good. Tim Hortons. Flatten Gaza, fam. This is what Gaza looks like. Yeah, did we game the stream? You were literally giving him blow by blow. Yeah. must strategy guide instructions. You were literally giving him like blow by blow strategy. Moen went to Five Night and Chuck E. Cheese. No, I've never been to Chuck E. Cheese. Five Nights. I've never been to Five Guys. There's a Five Guys in Kingston. Because they're not halal, I don't, I don't go there. We have a Five Guys over here. Yeah, Rick done good progress, good missions, good spell upgrades. That Toshi be leading Rick through um, BG, sorry, um, Fable like Rick did for BG3 for me. I be played that game lots as a kid. You get me 100B. I was telling them. I was telling them. Fable 1. Great game. I don't get the five guys hype. The average. What do they do good though? I don't even know what they serve. Burgers and chips, right? Dodi Tosh. You get the Baja Baja Blas, Baja Blas Wendy's. I've never been Wendy's either. Wendy's are decent. Yeah, I've never been Wendy's. Where Marvin from Resi? He's in. He's an outbreak file too. He's not in the first game. He's an outbreak file too. By Baja, he got popped. <laughs> what is that? What's Baja Blas? What the hell is that? Macy's Parade. What that? Don't think we have Wendy's in Antarctica. We have a Wendy's in my town, I think. We have a Wendy's in our town. Where? When she's in Antarctic. <laughs> oh Lord. Let me just double check. Wendy's. If it was that blast sorry, was that a squirtle video that you shared? Where the hell was that from? AI. Was it AI generated? Hounslow has all the international but honestly they the rejuvenation of Hounslow. The rejuvenation of Hounslow actually bought nice food places to us. I'll give them that. Legendary content. They be rejuvenating Moen's area. Moen be munching at all them places. Moen should make a Moen munch channel. Nah, man. I'm, I'm, I, I like stuff, but it's not a big variety of stuff. It'll be the same three uh, <laughs> takeaway places. My, my grocery shop has more of a variety usually than, than my actual like takeaway habits. Okay. 
where the apply ties apple ties are. Yeah. Apple ties are. Sponsage. Nah, I just love this. It's apple juice. It's sparkling apple juice. That's all it is. And I love apple juice. I haven't tried Tesco. I think Asda's better than Sainsbury's, and Sainsbury's better than Tesco's. I think. How's head go in the toilet? Love it. Yeah. Nah, as this better, way better. My bro keeps asking me if I'm okay, but I didn't tell him about my my health scare until after I'd come back from hospital. Couple of days, the vasculitis blood tests, the vasculitis blood tests take couple of days to come back because they're more thorough, they're more thorough. We used to have um, let's go everywhere. Tesco downsized though, and Asda took over. Days and Sainsbury's are there in the middle. Good variety in Sainsbury's. Marks and Spencer's really good though, but very expensive. If you want selection of good shit, Marks and Spencer's is great, but they're expensive. They like the Waitrose now. MS are like the Waitrose. Yeah, name recognition. I do like m and I want to go in there. there was a disruption earlier at the hospital had an m and really nice one. But you know the issue? Choice paralysis. When you go into m and they have so much choice. You have choice paralysis about what to buy. I hate that. I hate having choice paralysis. So much good shit, man. Asda, that's why I like Asda. There's, they got plenty of choice, but you're not paralyzed by choice. Huh? I had a Italian panettone first time last week from Asda. It tasted lovely. It's tiny. It's like an Italian sponge bread panettone. Fucking amazing. It's like diabetes in a fucking box, man. Panettone. Is it called Panettone or Panettone? <laughs> this is make their own version of Panettone. Panettone. But that one was really nice. 350 though, for like a tiny 
like a muffin sized sponge it tasted amazing it's dry sponge but really fucking dope Aldi, I, I don't go little Aldi unless I'm desperate and there's nowhere else open. Little Aldi tend to always be around every town. Then follow follow up weekend croissant croissant. Apparently Aldi doing bear good. Yeah. <laughs> croissant. Croissant. <laughs> that little has great old bakery products. Yeah, I need to check them out. They have they have good frozen stuff like frozen donuts and frozen donuts. Fresh. Okay, I've never I've never been there. No. Ah! Land and stores. Landing. They be putting horse that they meat in food, really? Dude, this is why we go halal, fam. They got nothing about horse meat being in there. Since we don't have sacrifice horses. <laughs> Moin, who sword at the... Wait, Moin? Sword at the... What do you mean, Devet? Moin, who sword at the... What do you mean? Where's that, where's that from? Is this some sort of code, code language? What's going on? Uh, did... Did uh, some sort of development happen? <laughs> Can one of a yearly mental break? Is this code? More confused. Yikes. So daddy, so daddy, who saw daddy, who saw daddy, what do you mean, these are some like mom jokes, these aren't like that, <laughs> let's get these from her um, bot, her dad joke bot. No anime, Kaiser, that be weep sizzle. Except Cyberpunk Edge Runners, though. Boku no Jio. Boku no Hibo. Boku no Hibo. Dude. Oh, fuck's sake, I need to raise the forklift. Oh, turn around. Boku no zes. 
Yeah, it's been on that uh, f that sack of flex lately. Sack of flex. Kaiser, what country you prefer? America or UK? UK. Kaiser fled the UK immediately. Regretted it when he got there. <laughs> immediately regretted. It. Is there any benefits in America, Kaiser, compared to UK? Any benefits at all? Apart from the cheaper, like, house prices. Moving from state to state is a lot easier than just moving in the UK. The property market in the UK. The AA benefit. <laughs> Dude, Kaiser is rubbing off on Dull too much lately. Kaiser is rubbing off on Dull too much lately. Not gonna lie. Less mold in houses, probably. Probably. That's the main reason peeps come to America. AA are trash culta. No one gonna change my mind though. Oh, shit. Due to the riots in progress, this area will be closed off soon. Dull pin the grave. Please proceed to this checkpoint immediately. Make it there. Leave the area in time. We Make it there. Guarantee your safety. Make it there. First time I had a pineapple pizza was in the US in 2004. Hope you never bought, bought it again. Any local girl place though, what's the best place in the UK? Any anywhere in the UK is good. Compared to UK. Anywhere. You won't find in you won't find in Gordon Ramsay restaurant. Any desi little desi place here is fucking better than everywhere else. City's a war zone. We need all the help we can get. Now, move the police car over there to build a barricade. Go! Auto correct, you bastard. Too deadly. Dude, anyway, Gordon Ramsay's overrated, man. Pathetic white man.
Machine Gun Kelly is too loud. Yeah, Raccoon C, yeah? Outbreak is basically a love letter to Raccoon C. You play as like nine, nine, ten survivors. Their, their own what if scenario. Fucking dope. Oh god, they're getting closer. We gotta go, now! Is it too loud? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit loud. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> the old school good glitches. The old school hey, glitches. Pizzeria in Canada, Napani. Napani? You be gotta go to it. That's a fuel tank. Leak the gas and use it to burn these bastards. Do it now! <laughs> Do it now. More be like Mappa. More be like Napa Nig. <laughs> When the booking ticket to Mo so far? I need to be MCAS and Toshi first. That's a must for me. I've already met Zess. How could I have met Zess before MCAS and Toshi? MCAS and Toshi are my boys, man. My boys. Inshallah, yeah. December, that's why I say December. I don't want no distractions. Issue. into one house that we're gonna move into one house as well when it says be moves in one house that be da be, be da da gonna move it keep as fuck to go there nice food turkey yeah i wanna go turkey baklava in it toy toy tashi plus kaiser dolls When who pissed in or who pissed in in all Cheerios? Who pissed in? Oh my God! Why you do this, fam? Why you doing this? Who pissed in the Cheerios? What in the heck? Who pissed in the? Who pissed in all Cheerios? Who pissed in your Cheerios? Eddie yet? What do you mean, Eddie? Oh no, Eddie does throwing right up. Yeah, man, he done. I killed him. Kill Eddie. I can't wait for people to kill Eddie in the remake.
Eddie, Eddie Greatness. Roasted coconut pineapple on pizza. Them Twitter prank moon video. I love that video. This is a raccoon. I love that video. Department. Please try to stay calm. Vehicles are standing by to commence evacuation. We need everyone here as quickly as possible. What's he holding on to? What's going on here? <laughs> this game has never glitched like this. He's supposed to have That's a it, speaker. <laughs> Get in, please. Oh, why is the speaker in the middle of... Is the speaker's... What's going too on? Dangerous. We're taking side streets. Damn! <laughs> I've never seen here. this glitch before. As you can see, there are too many roadblocks. I'm afraid you'll have to get out and continue on foot. What in the heck? Phone was an invisible part of what the heck? Why does every corner of the UK smell like weed? Ah, that's a problem. That's a problem. Some, some, some places smell like that, but not all of them. Every corner. It's in London. It's mainly London like that. London. so long hurry up i'm trying Leicester, the only place that had weed was the jamaican areas and over here forget jamaican in london there were some corners some streets that like weed areas where people just go to smoke weed what should i do should i do i pass a store I pass a store. Equal weed, okay. Yeah, people do weed over here. B Pakistanis, Indians, white. Weed culture, you get me? I'm shocked you haven't smelled weed in America. You guys are all about legalizing that shit. Pot smokers and... Way more weed here in the open. Yeah, I passed by a McVitie's factory and I smell weed. You sure about this, a bit? You sure about this? Everyone booked the weed tour. Yeah. Were you just in Wembley? If it, if it, you just went Wembley. You must have come past Heathrow. They probably 
like drove. That sexy body, yo. Stick it in all right! Ben Shapiro, what the fuck? Why you look like Ben Shapiro? <laughs> ever have imagined that such a day like this would come. With all of the tragedies surrounding us, I felt insignificant. But it's different now. I believe that I will survive anything. I'm scared, but I have to keep going. Yesterday, just before dawn, the Pentagon announced that radioactive waste has been leaked throughout Raccoon City. In accordance with U.S. safety regulations, the city has been placed under quarantine and the army has been sent in to investigate and control the situation. You will probably have a uh, high sensitivity to sense. You should be numb to weed now. Maybe the weed got to your brain. Maybe all the secondhand weed smell got to your brain. But you're right though, I do have a, a, even my nose is very sensitive to smelling weed because I'm so not around weed. So when I, when I go past someone's house um, or a bush, I know someone's done weed or threw a blunt there blunt into the, the bushes. The weed is everywhere. It's not so prominent, but it is it is everywhere. because it leaks to my room window that happens that used to happen with people who have like uh, extraction um gas or sorry uh, smoke extraction fans if they've been smoking weed in their bathroom or in their in their kitchen you can smell it messed up sick for months get tested for HIV AIDS all you guys I'll check it out the fuck <laughs> my Gio just happened Gio has everything by the way Gio what movie are you going to watch when the game awards comes what you said you're you're not going to be on the game awards stream because you're going to watch a movie what movie are you watching I don't even have those spots that were common with AIDS fuck dude to get out of London it's it's a classic UK town where Shakespeare was born Nice to, place to chill. He used to go there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I thought so. I thought so. I thought so, yeah.
I got a feeling I will resonate with um, that one something fierce. Yeah. Dude, I mean, you could, a oh, one night only, that's why. I thought you could just leave, leave off watching The Boy and the Heron, like, for another night and watch the Game Awards, but one night only, bloody hell. Nintendo, Nintendo winning it all. Nah, it's gonna be BG3, but I really hope it's Alan Wake 2. I really hope it's Alan Wake 2. Plus, it'll get a sales bump. <clears throat> if it wins it, it'll be good optics. A sales bump. Tashi, when the last time you made a pancake? I made. I used to make pancakes when I was in my old house. I haven't made one since. I haven't made one in ages. Pancake be good, yeah. Pancake last month. U.S. pancakes are shit, yeah. Because our ingredients are the ones, fam. Our ingredients are the ones. Anything in terms of food, anything America does, we do better and healthier. Even if you can't call something that's dessert healthy, it's still healthier than you get in the mind. Straight up. I, I am mad on pancakes. Pain in the ass to have them not stick. True. You will prepare them properly. You will prepare them properly. You will put butter at the bottom of the pan. Butter or, yeah. Make sure it's coated. Last I remembered, it came today. It snowed on Sunday here. Light snow. Dude, I hope it doesn't snow here. Then again, when it snows, for some reason, the temperature actually goes down slightly. Not by much, but it goes down. Mo, UK and US pancakes are completely different. What, what, what's your US pancakes made of? Probably in a week or two. By the way, Kaiser, I saw that, um, all of that video you posted yesterday of the vlog, the serial, sorry, the killer. The killer, the manic depressive killer who who killed his wife and daughter. He was building that, that camp in those place in the middle of the forest. I, I actually, not gonna lie, I legit felt sorry for him. What he did was fucked up, but I, there's something part of me that was like, I feel sorry for this guy. She was completely oblivious to, to her husband's like depression. Yeah, but it's like, to, I can't condone him killing his family. She didn't even want to get married. Yeah. And he felt um, financially drained. Dude, he'd pull a James Sunderland, fam. He pulled a James Sunderland. Man pulled straight up James Sunderland. I want to say she was a gold digger. But she was completely oblivious to her husband's pain. Living a torn in life, yeah. Like, it's like she thought that the, the, the well, the tap, the tap on the money was like infinite. And he, he felt bad as a husband, so he gave all the, well, m most of the money he could to her maintenance and care. 
we don't know what's wrong with her usually documentaries like these omit details that people would scrutinize that's the problem with these documentaries as good as they are evu as good as evu is it still emits a whole lot of stuff i'd have noticed that with some of their previous documentaries they always emit the kind of context of the life these people live she was getting around the house okay and was even able to walk outside yeah and she could have worked from home all they said is she made stuff at home and she sold them on fairs and markets and stuff. I'm not sure if anyone else saw the doctor who special is that the one where he where matt smith matt smith turned into the new new guy where they were turning the switch and the the matt smith turned into the black the new black doctor is that is that the episode you're talking about Gio? The smile scene. I saw that. I fucking saw that. <laughs> it's corny and cringy. Tell you that. Corny and cringy. Female doctor regenerate. Oh, wait, wait, what? Female doctor regenerate to David Tennant again. Okay. Okay. I, I, no, isn't the new Doctor Black though? What do you mean? You're watching an old one, right? Isn't the Kanuti that that black gay guy the new Doctor? You must be talking about old, but fourteen doctors played by David Tennant, who was tenth Doctor. Okay. It's all temporary. So who cares? Yeah. They don't know what they're doing. The the Doctor Who's now is like American politics. <laughs> it's like American politics, fam. Yeah, N Nakuti Gatwa, that's his name. Will be the 15th Doctor. Okay. Sorry, I must have saw somebody do an edit. Somebody must have done an edit. They can't, they're going to cancel Doc who, who like, they're going to cancel Doc who like Top Gear. Fuck two great shows up. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they have to pander to a new crowd. Remember when they used to just pander to the sci-fi crowd? Now they have to pander to non-sci-fi heads. Oh wait, Nakuti is pronounced Shuti. What? Shuti, okay. Shuti Gatwa. Shuti Gatwa. There were a million other black actors I would have picked. Not a million, but like a hundred other black actors I was picked over that actor. Because I'm not familiar with him. We still missed out on a, a um, Christopher, wait, Tom Hiddleston. Uh, Tom Hiddleston, Doctor Who. Loki series is basically a Doctor Who series. And it's a damn good series. What's this? probably watch this vid and call it a stream let's take a look at this vid shooty gatwa vagoro is the place what's he saying yaya abalenda Bel belend yaya abalenda <laughs> what's he meant to be saying it's in the wait, let me check. Richard Hammond being a bell end. I am a hello. Wait. Horse. There was a bit performative there in the second one, because he knew he was saying something significant. Why you call the horse Tesco? It's jokes, isn't it? You can't get nothing more British than Tesco. Do you guys remember Safeway? We used to have Safeway, now we don't have Safeway in the UK anymore. I don't know who bought Safeway out. But you guys remember before back back in the day it used to only be Safeway and Tesco. You remember? Yeah. My mom used to go Safeway, but I can't remember what they did better than other places. Can't remember. But they went they just went up and Wilkinson came in and then that went as the Sainsbury started taking on the scene, Tesco's became smaller. We don't get that many big Tesco's now. We get loads of small Tesco's everywhere. Yeah, yeah, a Belinda. Oh, Morrison's. That's it. Yeah, Morrison's are going strong. 
Safeway were cheaper. I remember Safeway were cheaper than everyone else. Safeway was the cheap ones and the Tesco were the expensive ones. Now Tesco are actually the but uh, the cheaper ones and it's it's um M and S and Weight Rose and Sainsbury's are more expensive. Without without nectar discounts, Sainsbury's are kind of more expensive. Anyway, if a special that is tied into Doctor Who's sixtieth anniversary, it had little more focus on Donna and her family. I don't even know who Donna is, especially her daughter who is transgender. The biggest offence I found in the special was Donna and her daughter chastising the doctor. Fucking BS. I have no context for this, dear. I don't think anyone here has any context for this. I stopped watching after, after, um, what's his name? Who did I stop watching? Let me find this actor's name out, hold on. Uh, Christopher Eccleston, yep. I stopped watching after Christopher Eccleston. Nah, not Matt Smith. Or David Tennant, Christopher Eccleston. That's where I stopped watching Doctor Who. Couldn't be bothered with after that, to be honest. When I saw the Mass, uh, Matt Smith and David Tennant, even though I acknowledged them as great actors, now I do. And back then, I, I couldn't give a fuck about them. Eccleston, yeah. Had a trans child. Is Donna the female companion? Who is Donna? Let me remind myself. Who is Donna? Oh, it's, uh, it's that bitch. That that comedian bitch. The one with David Tennant. Oh, God, I hate this actress. I fucking hate Catherine Tate, man. I don't know how you guys can take Catherine Tate seriously. She's this comedian, fam. She had a memory wiped. It was BS. It'd be good content for your YouTube channel. Them dull vlogs gonna get them views. X Dan. Lol, why? Dull, record yourself shoveling the snow and upload to YouTube for them views. You get. <laughs> Catherine Tate, great when acting chink. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. That skit. But I just can't, man. M my generation's doctor was uh, Tom. Uh, what's his name? Um, Tom Baker, Tom Baker and Pertwee, John Pertwee and Tom Baker, is it John Pertwee? Is that his son? Yep, John Pertwee and Tom Baker were my era. Uh, and who else was it? And who's that other Scottish uh, guy? Sylvester McCoy, yeah. Yeah, Sylvester McCoy was Sylvester McCoy, Tom Baker, but mainly Pertwee and McCoy were my doctors. Growing up in the nineties. Yeah, we all had a AOT. Yep, we all had a AOT. Didn't the Daleks go extinct in these new Doctor Who's? Horse, I sh Yeah. Yeah, you remind me of... This is gonna get me... How long is this? Race type. Okay, more crop. Yeah, this is gonna just get me blocked on... Um, I'll watch it. Let me... Let me fade, put it... I'll, I'll watch it. You'll suddenly see my reaction. See. Lizzie Jackson. She's playing an old woman, Catherine Tate.
Yeah, nothing that would be copyrighted. Wait, what did she say? Oh shit. This is, this is, this, this impression is exactly like old women. Old women who are in doctor's waiting rooms or GP's waiting rooms. Yeah. You didn't need appointments back then. <laughs> yeah, this is like old time old women, yeah. All right, yeah, I get the gist of this. Dope. You drop the link, yeah, as long as it won't get me copyrighted, yeah. Yeah, drop the link. More load up Halo. Nah, ban Halo, man. I need Halo to fucking inspire me again. Halo don't inspire me no more. After that trilogy, Master Chief Collection, Halo don't inspire me no more, man. Halo 5 killed the franchise. Now, even though they fixed Halo Infinite, nobody cares. No new person cares, only people playing online or paying for Game Pass care. Uh, it didn't inspire me when it came out, so why would it inspire me now? This better be good, Gio. This better be good. We know your brand of humor is very different to everyone else. Your brand of humor very different. This is the last written now. Okay, Gio, you are done yourself. Gio sh surprised me. Dude, I am surprised today. I used to watch this show. I've never seen this. I've never fucking seen this. Holy shit, how did they get away with that? Holy shit, I used to watch this show. This was my show when I was a fucking toddler fan. Bloody hell. Dude, now, 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 now I know how we all kind of believe that kids shows are sinister. The delivery devices for sinister and insidious messages. You know how people do those conspiracy theories that Disney films are full of phallic imagery, sexual and phallic subconscious imagery. Now you know. The writers were fucking smoking a blunt. Legit. The writers thought that they could get this past the censors because of the language they used. And they, oh, the writers for this were like comedic geniuses. I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if the writers on this, the people who wrote these kids shows, went on to write comedy, like British comedies. You know what I mean? British comedy was at its peak back in this era. 80s, 90s, peak fucking British comedy. I wouldn't be surprised if the writers went on to do other things that is fucking hilarious all right guys thank you guys Yvette, mcas toshi dold kaiser lurkers geo by the way the specific video i sent for some reason labeled under youtube kids this is how they do it man this is how they do it i've been going for two and a half hours if you this is what i mean if you guys had bothered to come in in the first 40 minutes this would have felt like a Two and a half hour stream. I have no idea. I guess it's a, it is objectively a kid show, Gio. It's objectively a kid show. So it has to be on YouTube Kids. So nobody bothered. Yep. Yeah, MCAS is here. But dude, it was literally only a Kaiser for 40 minutes. Dull was the first one that came.
And obviously Toshi was finishing Rick's stream, so. You guys gotta jump early. You always complaining that I stream late, but you guys jump late. When I start at twelve thirty or or uh, you know twelve or midnight, no one is there. Which is it? You start too late or you start too early? Twenty five hours less stream and play cards and card no picker. But use your points. That sexy body, yo. There we go. Stick it in, all right. Pico. Suck it. Pico. Fam, she's the boss. Drop his leg. Fuck him! Oh lord, you guys hear about what Khan's going through? He can't get people to babysit his kids, so he's like really down in the dumps because he's not able to do Patreon reactions and stuff. Kara, legit. Hiring a carer or getting carer's allowance to have a carer look after the wife is the best source of best solution. I did a 13 hour for a whole 100% playthrough of Super Mario 64. That was a birthday. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that, Gio. I was there. I was there for most, I think, most of the tail end of that, Gio. All those stars. You're getting all 100% stars. And then Yoshi's on top of the castle. That's all you get for collecting all the stars. They they fire you out of a cannon on top of the castle. And Yoshi's there. Heard Zeso Kaiser post them updates about Uzu Khan. Yeah. Who knows, brother? You gotta plan your family sizes. If you know your wife's got health issues, disabled, and you know it's gonna it's it's stressful looking after four kids, and you can no longer dump them on your family anymore. You need to think about family planning. Or at least get a carer in, you know, with the money you're making. Not doing 100% on Super Mario Sunshine, fuck that, yeah. Hard to feel pity for a man's making bank with little expenses, yeah. Who playing with their willies, oh my god. I have no idea, but look, I gotta, I gotta end it and go, go eat. eat. I actually didn't eat before I start this stream. Only on Rick. Only when Rick started, and that was ages ago. That was hours ago. What do you think about Khan or Pico sound about? I don't think Khan, Gio's familiar with Khan that much. Or the context of that sound about, so. Nah, nah, no sandwiches, man. No, no sandwiches. Order BBQ, grilled BBQ, <laughs> mukbang. You'd know, man, if I was doing mukbang. Order the food now, and now it's too late. 3 a.m. is too late to order any food. I would have streamed Super Mario RPG. I suppose I could stream Grim Fandango. Yeah, finish that. If you're using a guide, Geo, you can finish it in like a couple of hours. Just follow the guide. Enjoy the story and follow the guide, Geo. Best way to do it. Dull did it. Yvette followed the guide. And they love the game. I, I could join your stream, but just use a guide. Yeah, use a guide. Why did he not give more in his sandwich? What do you mean? The hospital gave me sandwiches when I was waiting there. Waiting in the the radiotherapy fucking room. They, they dump... If you're not an outpatient, but you're getting about to be discharged, they literally dump you in the room where the people have radiotherapy. And, and they just leave you there for fucking three hours. It's pathetic. Why are you going to buy your own food in U.S. hospitals? I have no idea. Phone? I was on my phone tweeting. You guys. You, you saw me tweeting and did, on the Discord when I was waiting. In the, in the, you saw? I saw those posts. You doing okay? Yeah, I had blood tests. I had a bunch of blood tests, a bunch of scans, checkups. They, um, they're waiting to hear back for my uh, vasculitis blood test. So like, conditions that can uh, damage organs, mainly. That's what they're looking for, rather than like cardiac arrest stuff. You gotta take entertainment along with you. Keep it. I do, I mean I've got like an emulator on my phone. I've got PSP emulator. I've got Crisis Core on it. I've got Final Fantasy Tactics on the emulator. I've got Marvel Snap. Marvel Snap is dope. 
they got they got good internet there in the hospital as well. Don't yell at clouds. <laughs> Emulator games, yeah. I didn't want to drain my battery in case I needed it, so. When you have to rush the hospital at impromptu times, you don't really have time to discharge your phone. Marvel Snap is addictive, I'm telling you, man. Marvel Snap is dope. So addictive. It's, it's free to play. It has microtransactions, but it's one of the better free to play games. You'd, I never feel the need to spend money. And I just whoop people. Whoop people on Marvel Snap. Amazing game. You should download it on your phones. Really fucking good. I, I never thought I'd get into mobile game, but Marvel Snap is fucking so good. So addictive. And you can upgrade your cards, and you can, down, you can get all these cool cards from like all the Marvel Universe comics and stuff. It's better than Fortnite. Nah. It's, you, you can spend 10 minutes or 10 minutes or an hour, and it's always fun. He has online matchmaking, you can play people online. Midnight Sun, yeah. Alright guys, thank you man. I'm gonna end the stream. I'm gonna quick end, I'm gonna go eat. I'm getting hungry now. God damn. Them card battles, alright, take, take care, Gio, Toshi, Kaiser, Yvette, Dald, TC.